Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the newest fastest keyboard, the GK61. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you have heard about this keyboard and planned on getting it yourself, as a bunch of YouTubers are making unboxing videos and just reviewing it in general. But yeah, like I said, I decided to buy it myself, test it out, see if it's worth it or not. By the way, I want to mention that everything I talk about in this video is going to be in the description below. So go check it out if you are planning on getting it. And I would recommend to get it as fast as you can because they do run out of stock pretty fast as a lot of people are interested in getting it. Now I got mine off Amazon, but you could get it off the official website. And like I said, I will put it in the description below. So yeah, let's open this bad boy up and see if it's worth it or not. Oh yeah, one more thing guys, if you are interested of knowing why it's the fastest and what parts make it faster than, for example, the Apex Pro, which was the fastest keyboard for the past couple of years, I will quickly play a clip of It's Jerry and explaining it because he will explain it way better than me. So yeah, roll the clip. over here. What makes the GK61 so fast are its switches. I got Gatoron yellow optical switches with it. These have a 0.2 millisecond response time, which is 0.5 milliseconds faster than the Apex Pro. Additionally, the yellow Gatoron switches are 10 grams lighter, so while the OmniPoint switches on the Apex Pro do actuate faster, the GK61 bottoms out faster. Last little bit of info you should know about this keyboard are what optical switches do. Optical switches are much faster and more durable. How they work is instead of being a normal key switch which actuates once you press it down, an optical switch has a sensor that passes a beam of light through these little holes. That means when you press down in your key, it blocks the beam of light which then sends a message to your keyboard to say it's been actuated. So again, it is the Gatoron yellow switches that make it so quick. They have a 1mm pre-travel distance, a 3.2mm total travel, and like I said before, a 02 millisecond response time. All of these stats should make it faster than the Apex Pro and the Razer Huntsman Mini. Alright guys, so now that you're all caught up about what parts are in this and what makes it the fastest keyboard, let's get my first reaction and see what I think about it. I'm gonna be completely honest in this, no judgments from other YouTubers, and yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, so it comes in a pretty casual standard cardboard box as you would expect many keyboards do come in and it doesn't weigh too much. I think my old HyperX Alloy FPS keyboard weighs a little bit more than even the whole box, but that doesn't really matter. But if you guys are interested in this one, I will also put this into the description below. It is a very good keyboard. I had it for a while. I did replace the keycaps though. They used to be like black, but I replaced them with the pudding white. Which brings me in, into my next point as I did order this keyboard in the putting white keycaps. And the reason behind that, I honestly wanted to get the black ones because my old keyboard already was white. So I wanted to switch it out. But they had them out of stock. As I said, this keyboard runs out of stock really, really fast. So, uh, I mean, it's better in white than not having the keyboard in general. As you see, this keyboard is a 60% keyboard, meaning it doesn't have any of the shift keys and any of the arrow keys and the number pads. So as you see right here, comparing it to my old keyboard, it is pretty small. It's only this portion. So like I said, all the F keys and all the side keys and the arrow keys are not in this. So this is mainly for gaming. So like I said, if you are interested, like you got to think about what you're going to do with the keyboard. If it's mainly for gaming, then this keyboard is pretty good. I honestly prefer smaller keyboards. So that's why I ordered this one. Like I said, there were better, bigger keyboards. So yeah. So All right. So is this is the keyboard over here. I'm gonna quickly zoom in, just show you how the keycaps look and everything. It looks pretty standard for a keyboard. Like I said, pretty small though. As long as my hand fits on it and I could reach the keys, that's fine. So let's take a look further what's inside the box. There is a keyboard manual right here. So you could see where the keys are if you're cleaning them or something so you don't forget where the keys go you could use this obviously you could google it if you lose this not a really important piece of paper <clears throat> but yeah moving on into the box and oh wow i never knew it comes with such a nice braided cable this feels like really high quality my old keyboard also had a braided cable but it was a different port i forgot what this is called i'm pretty sure this is a usb3 port but this one I don't, i'm not sure what it's called you could probably search it up and you'd find it but regardless, it is still a very nice cable and it's very durable, you can already tell. So yeah, honestly, let's plug it in and test it in game and 
get my first reaction on how this keyboard is going to work. Like I said, it weighs pretty much the same, maybe a little bit lighter than my old keyboard. But you could probably guess that because it's missing a lot of keyboard and it's a bit small. So yeah, honestly, it weighs pretty heavy for a 60% keyboard. But yeah, like I said, let's forget about that and let's see how it performs in game. By the way, I forgot to mention, I did get the gator on yellow switches. This plays a big role into making it the fastest keyboard because these are the lightest switches you could get. And this keyboard is hot swappable. It does come with the keycap remover and the switch remover. So yeah, keep that in mind. All right, guys, so I have plugged in the keyboard and the RGB started playing right away, but it kind of looks weird on camera. In real life, it looks a lot more smoother on camera. It looks a little more flimsy and it kind of glitches a bit, but that's not how it looks. It looks very good. I feel like it would look a bit better on the black keycaps, but like I said, not too much of a difference. It looks maybe a bit more cleaner with these keycaps as they are white, but they are going to get a little bit dirty after some use as my old keyboard did. That's the problem with white keycaps, but like I said, still looks nice. I haven't tried it out yet. As you see, I am in game right now, but yeah, let's get my first reaction and see how they feel. And all right, it definitely feels a lot faster. Like I could tell the buttons, like I could tell there's a lot less input delay. Let's try to crank some nineties and do some edits and see if it's any different from my old keyboard. All right, not gonna lie, it feels almost a bit too fast for me. Let's do some edits. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, my mouse is legit trying to click way faster than the keyboard. I gotta get a bit used to this thing. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god. You know, I'm almost messing up my, my edits just because because it's too fast. Like I'm trying to confirm, like I'm trying to switch to different builds with my mouse already. But my, my edit trying to start another oh my god like i can't really explain it but it's it definitely feels a lot faster and it feels like i'm i need less pressure on my on my hands and it feels like i need a lot less pressure on the keys to to activate like a button right but yeah it definitely feels a lot faster oh my god All right, let's try to do some triple edits over here and see if we could do those. Oh yeah, no problem. I could, I could, I feel like I could even do like quadruple edits if I could. Oh, messed up my wall over there. Alright, so these keycaps, like I said, alright, so these switches definitely feel a lot lighter. Like, I legit just rest my finger in it. Like, I feel, I feel the button sinking all the way down, and it's much faster than my, than my uh, HyperX Alloy FPS. But yeah, it does take a bit of getting used to, though, I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, if you get this keyboard, expect to have a few days of getting used to it, and then I'm pretty sure... All of us are going to be pros at the game. But yeah, overall, like I said, I think this keyboard is worth it, especially for $60 USD and about 80 Canadian. If you didn't know, I do live in Canada, so my currency is a bit different than in the United States. It's still pretty much the same. It's going to total up around $100 for me, at least. But for you, it's probably going to be around, like I said, 80 I will put international links on Amazon so you guys won't get confused but yeah that's pretty much it I, I am going to keep you updated within the weeks about this keyboard and my progression if I 
get any different thoughts or opinions about this keyboard, I will keep you guys updated. So subscribe, like this video, share this video with your friends, and ask me any questions that you have about this keyboard, and I will answer as best as